What's on my table here is the new ASUS ZenBook Pro 14 Duo OLED adopted the best of the ZenBook Duo 14 which I reviewed last year and the ZenBook Pro 16X OLED featuring AAS Ultra that I wish to keep after the review. Hi, my name is Joshua Wong. Welcome to Fast Episode 75. I do short and fast tech reviews on this channel. That's how the name came about. In this video, I'll be talking about the new ASUS ZenBook Pro 14 Duo OLEDs that I might be switching back to Windows which currently I'm using the Mac Mini as you can see from behind. But first, let's check out the design and specification. The ASUS ZenBook Pro 14 Dual OLED is one of its kind laptop that's featuring a dual display. A 14.5 inch 2.8K 120Hz OLED primary display and a 12.7 inch 2.8K 120Hz IPS display. Both screens support finger touch and ASUS Pen 2.0 input that recognize up to 4092 level of pressure sensitivity. Although it sports a dual display, the ZenBook Pro 14 Dual OLEDs weight at just 1.7 kg with a thickness of 1.79 cm. Similar to the ASUS ZenBook Pro 16X OLED, the ZenBook Pro 14 Dual OLED also features AAS Ultra technology. Instead of the keyboard, the secondary display would actually tilt up by 12 degree when the display cover is open. It doesn't only improve the viewing angle, but also enhance the airflow for supreme cooling. It has a pretty complete port selection, including two Thunderbolt 4.0, which support display and power delivery, one USB-A 3.2 Gen 2, a 3.5mm audio combo port, while on the rear there's an HDMI 2.1, micro SD Express 7.1 card readers, and this charging port. The keyboard and trackpad are moved portly side by side, to make space for the secondary display. The backlit chiplet keyboard has a 1.4mm key travel. There's no fingerprint scanner, instead you get an IR webcam with Windows Hello support. The ASUS ZenBook Pro 14 Dual OLED is well built and meet US military standard 810H. Now coming to the internal, the review unit that I have here is powered by Intel latest 12th gen Elder Lake processor, Intel i7 12700H, and can be configured up to Intel i9-12900H, paired with up to 32GB of LPDDR5 memory and 2TB M.2 NVMe PCIe Gen 4. The ASUS ZenBook Pro 14 Dual OLED is equipped with a dedicated graphic cards, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti with 4GB GDDR6, which does all the heavy lifting with photos and video editing. Now, here are the three reasons why I tempted to jump back to Windows because of this laptop. As a content creator, I do need a lot of screen estate and color accuracy which the ZenBook Pro 14 Dual OLED delivered. It doesn't only have an inky black yet color accurate OLED panel, they are in high resolutions and the secondary display is very useful for video editing. Combined with both display, I'm actually utilizing a 17-inch display in a 14-inch laptop footprint. Ever since the pandemic, things back to normal, and when I travel, be it on holiday or work, I can bring laptops that is not only great for entertainment consumptions as well as for work, where I can edit my videos or photos on the go. Yes, I can opt for MacBook or MacBook Pro. They are not only expensive, but I do run some issues with some applications, which lead to the third reason why I have the urge to jump ship. There's no doubt that the Apple Silicon chips are very powerful, but I am an Adobe user and I find it doesn't seem well optimized with Adobe applications like Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. Unlike the ZenBook Pro 14 Dual OLEDs, it has a studio-grade NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti graphic card that works very well with Adobe Creative Applications. It even has NVIDIA Studio drivers specifically for creative applications like Adobe. The ScreenPad Plus features control panel that integrate seamlessly with Adobe applications like Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, and After Effects by offering 
four types of controls like dial, button, slider, and scroll for more precise and intuitive control. The ASUS ZenBook Pro 14 Duo OLED has an impressive performance, especially with the powerful Intel 12th Gen processor, speedy LPDDR5 memory, and a blazing fast PCIe Gen 4 storage. The only downside throughout my experience was the 76 working hour batteries that can only pry me about 4 hours of heavy video editing. Other than that, it is a promising content creator laptop to consider. What do you think about the ASUS ZenBook Pro 14 Duo OLED? Do share your thoughts in the comment box below. A complete written review will be available on my website. The link will be in the description box. That's all for me on the ASUS ZenBook Pro 14 Duo OLED. If any questions, do leave them in the comment box below. I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, take care, and I'll see you at the next one.